What's up, Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny coming in for another little fish how-to. Well, basically, this is a uh, meet the fish. Today, we're going to be talking about the glowfish. Not any glowfish, but the glowfish tetra. They come in two varieties. There is an aggressive uh, trait which is the like tiger barbs and the sharks actually you can however put one shark in with your glowfish tetras which is uh, uh glowfish tetras are peaceful a shark is going to be no problem really as long as you have the room you have to have the room and the space um they can be a little bit more on the aggressive side but they're not going to really pick one as long as they're outnumbered by anything else in the tank they're going to go down they're going to be uh kind of like a bottom dweller and kind of like swim around and whatnot but they're going to most likely hide um there's some misconceptions uh my i have friends that have uh a, one glowfish shark in with a peaceful community it's completely fine but today we're going to go over the glowfish tetra i'm going to go off and uh show you these guys real quick they are a schooling fish. They are best kept in schools of five or more. I have uh, ten all together. They come in orange, green, purple, blue, pink, and red. These guys are a peaceful fish. They're very docile. They eat um, flake food. Uh, they like... Uh, Plenty of room to uh, swim, obviously. Schooling fish, they need the room to uh, to kind of stretch their fins, if you will. But other than that, these guys are born brilliant. Uh, if you've done any reading up on them, they are not dyed. They are not injected with any dyes. They are not painted. Absolutely false. They... Uh, have a lot of bad hype and propaganda about you know oh they do this to them they do that to them it's it's uh it's so wrong you know it's uh it's not i mean you know that's my my opinion too but i mean i mean they're they're born just like anybody else or any other species uh their genetics are and what i mean by altered is that they are gene spliced so they have the gene spliced from live coral and live jellyfish they're pretty much the only thing that i can think of that comes close to having salt water without having salt water because they do have the dna uh traits of those salt water um counterparts they're very happy they uh, they look beautiful swimming in groups. Uh, they've uh, they do very well. I've had these guys for about uh, I want to say about a year, and uh, these guys eat like pigs and they play like little kids. Greatest thing about them is uh, they kind of react to you every once in a while. Like if you if you move your finger, you know. They uh they get down a little bit <laughs> to try to say hey, but um uh, yeah, this is the uh, glowfish tetra. This is one thing that I do actively keep in the tank. I uh, I love these guys. They're brilliant. They do love to eat with the discus. The discus uh I do have discus in here. Uh, these guys are over here. Because uh, when I start filming, they they try to run away. But uh, they chill in there. They eat blood worms together. A little shrimp running by. But uh, they love to play. Hang out by the heaters and stuff. Definitely all together. Enjoying... swimming with their buddies 
Dragon Gaby's down there hiding in his log. He's uh he's gonna be an upcoming video. Um actually no, I'm sorry, he is in his cave. Uh, he's down in here, which is let's see if I can't get a little a little sneak peek of the dragon goob. Eh, he's in there, but he's kind of wrapped up in the corner. But uh I'm gonna have a video of him coming up soon. <clears throat> he's gotten big guys I got him when he was uh about four inches five inches long but that's an upcoming video so as always if you like this video please hit the like button uh if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe I will be putting up videos all the time on DIY how to's and care for your uh fish uh I also answer questions if you have any questions or whatnot just shoot me a line I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and uh, as always, Starlight Aquatics. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you next time.